big huff daddy here we got the monday mix we got week 15 nfl it was it a playoff week man we had a lot of good games um uh, overtime games we had some some crazy comebacks man uh let's go ahead and start right here thursday night the thursday night game 49ers in seattle versus seahawks it was a pretty close game through in the beginning. But then um, 49ers, they were able to edge out the Seahawks and get the win on the road. Uh, I think the 49ers secured the division. I'm, I'm going to get that pulled up right here. But, man, a lot of, uh, a lot of craziness. They had them Saturday games. And the Sunday games. Here we go. I got the NFC right here. The division is clinched for the 49ers. So um, we'll talk about the the playoff picture tomorrow a little bit more in depth. We still have this Monday night game, and it looks like the Packers are still in the hunt right here, five and eight. We got the Lions seven and seven with the Seahawks seven and seven. So they're still in the hunt right here, the Packers. So, well, um, we'll see how with this Monday night game. And then tomorrow we'll get into that playoff picture a little bit more in depth. But, man, this Colts-Vikings game, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest comeback in playoff history, man, or in NFL history, 33-point uh, comeback, uh, man, I don't think did the Colts even score in the second half. Let me see if we can pull up the pull up the scores real quick. The Colts scored in the third quarter, three points, then uh, fourteen points for the Minnesota Vikings in the third quarter, and twenty-two points in the fourth quarter for the win in overtime. Whew, man, what a crazy, what a crazy game! It was like everything was going wrong for the Vikings. Uh, that was Saturday. I was doing like um, a quarter by quarter uh, shorts for those games, and man, it was like an emotional roller coaster. It was like the Vikings were just <sighs> turnover after turnover, interception. They couldn't handle the the punts or the kickoffs. They couldn't run the ball. They couldn't do anything, and then it was a complete flip. Or the Vikings just went on a tear. Oh, man, it was, it was a crazy game. The Saturday, first game of the, the Saturday, man. And it was just, it was crazy. And then that, uh, the second game Saturday, it wasn't as, it wasn't as crazy, to say that much. At least we were able to go a little breathing room. Ravens Browns Ravens really struggling right here. Um, they've been kind of struggling all year. I, I would say I really thought Lamar was going to have a MVP type season, be playing at a higher caliber. But the Ravens they don't really have a lot of weapons. Their offensive line really struggling, and Lamar got that injury a couple weeks ago. Um, I think it was versus Denver, and the Ravens are struggling right now, and uh, the Browns, the Browns are playing tough, they play tough in the division, uh, they like to smash, smash you around, they like to run the ball, and, you know, Ravens just couldn't, couldn't really handle it, a Saturday night game, that was another, another crazy game, going back and forth, Miami really struggling these last couple weeks, and Bills are really getting it together. As of late, the last few games, last few weeks, maybe the last like month or so, I think since they played the, um, I think they played the, the Bengals a few weeks ago. They lost to the Bengals, and then they really just got it together the last couple weeks. They won. I can't pull up the... The last few weeks over here too 
too quickly. Anyways, the Bills really just getting together right here at the end of the season. Uh, Miami struggling last three games. See, um, Miami playing the Packers right here Sunday on Christmas. So that should be good. Good game, good bounce back game. Packers have been struggling. We'll see how they play tonight. So they, <clears throat> Miami could bounce back right there Sunday night. But Bills, man, um, back to that Bills game. Real going back to, back and forth. Came down to the wire right here. Um, Miami just really struggled right there in the fourth quarter. Only three points to Bills, 11 points. And it went right down to the end. Uh, last couple seconds. <sighs> Snow game. Surprisingly, Miami played a lot better in um, Buffalo than a lot of people thought they would. Uh, but still, hard to win in Buffalo. Hard to win in your division, for sure. 29-32. Buffalo securing the division, securing a playoff berth. Let me just double-check if they... They did not secure the division. It says clinched playoffs. So I'm really not sure if that. I mean, eight and six. But they're gonna have the. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not editing out anything. I'm just keep on going. Eleven and three. They would have to lose all their the rest of the games and. Miami would have to win all their games and then for them not to clinch the division. So, Bills clinched the playoffs. Sunday, man, the Eagles, the Eagles, they were struggling all the way. Um, I think this went to, did it? It did not go into overtime. I thought it was going to go into overtime, but I guess the uh, Philly was able to figure it out, man. Uh, Hurts, no touchdowns, two interceptions, three rushing touchdowns. Whoa. Man, if Hurts can't get it in the air, he'll get it on the ground. 17 carries, 61 yards for three touchdowns. Jalen Hurts, man, these Eagles, they're figuring out a way to win, man. That's what you want to do at the end of the season. Really figure out a way to win, even though it is a three-win Bear team. Bears, they've really, they've just been, um, they've been playing hard, struggling to win games, though, man. It's hard, hard to win in the NFL. Eagles, only one loss right here. Lions on a roll, man. I thought the Jets were going to be able to get this versus the Lions. A couple 7-7 seven seven teams at the end of the week. Lions really rolling right now. They are, um, I think they won the last six of seven, something like that. They're just, they're playing, they're playing tough. They are getting, getting back up, biting kneecaps on the way up. They are playing smash mouth football. Jared Goff doing his thing. Do they still have a chance to get in the playoffs? I think they do. Um, let's see what that bubble's looking like. Yeah, like I said, Seahawks, 7-7, seven and seven, Lions, 7-7. Seven and seven. I'll see if the Packers, and I said the Packers were not getting in the playoffs like a month and a half ago. So, ooh, man, Detroit really getting hot right now. Beating people up. Uh, Jets really struggling. I remember... When their boy, um, uh, what was what's the quarterback here for the Jets? Uh, Wilson. I remember when Zach Wilson went out and uh, White went came in. He was looking good that one game. They won that first game, and then I think White came in won his second game. But then they just had a rough. They had just had a rough stretch right there, and uh, the Jets got to really figure it out right here coming down. Coming down to the the playoffs, this uh, final stretch of the season, last couple weeks. Jets right here on the bubble. No changes though. AFC beasts, NFC beasts. 
it's just tough right here in the East. So, carrying on, Steelers, Panthers, a couple teams really not doing much. Um, I guess the Steelers do have a chance still in the playoffs. In the AFC, um, I don't really think they're going to get in the playoffs. Panthers, I don't think they're going to get in the playoffs. I thought the, uh, well, actually, the Panthers do kind of have a chance. Somebody's got to win this NFC South. <laughs> Six and eight, Tampa in the hunt. Who's leading the South? What? Hold on, wait. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So they have these, they have the, um, I'm on the .com NFL. They have the 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 playoff picture kind of funny. So um, right now, Tampa is leading the division. We're gonna do a little bit more. Uh, but Carolina right here, five and nine. Somebody's gotta win this. Five and nine. Saints. Falcons. Five and nine. So <laughs> I guess the Panthers are still in it. Um, the Chiefs had a tough one right here in Houston. Houston playing tough, one-win team. Um, Chiefs were able to get this, get it together in overtime. Houston, one-win team. Chiefs, 11-3. I think the Chiefs have clinched the division for the ninth time in a row. <sighs> Falcons, Saints. I thought the Saints would win at home. Somebody's got to win the NFC South. Jags. <laughs> Man, I was i I've never been so happy to see the Jags win. I picked the Jags. You can see my quick pick, <laughs> a little controversial pick, and man, final in overtime. Dak threw the pick six in overtime to lose the game. Ah oh, NFC beasts. We'll see how this um last few weeks shape up right here for the Cowgirls. Uh Oh, man, it's going to be a good day just listening. I don't know why ESPN and everybody and their mama love to talk about the Cowboys, but when they lose to a subpar team like these Jacksonville Jaguars, um, but, I mean, the last couple seasons, they've been playing hard, just like some tough tough luck for Jacksonville. Good win, though, good win in overtime. Um I think the AFC South is the same as the NFC South. Right here, Titans are 7-7. Seven and seven. You have um, Jacksonville, 6-8. and eight. I think Jacksonville beat the Titans, and they got to play the Titans again. So, well, this Titans right here struggling. Perfect. Um, I just talk about the Titans right here. The Chargers... Um, they were on the road versus the Chargers, and 14-17. Um, it was a close game. Usually the Titans are able to um, get these close games, but, man, they're really struggling versus these high-flying offenses, these explosive offenses, and the Chargers were able to edge it out right here. Um, let's look. They were kind of going back and forth, 7 in the first quarter for the Chargers, then Tennessee tied it up. Nothing in the third quarter, then seven and ten in the fourth quarter. So we had uh, Tannehill through interception. Um, man, if the Chargers really had like a top tier quarterback, even like a Herbert, where man Herbert twenty eight to forty two, wow, two interceptions, rough day, huh? Interesting. I like looking at these stats. You can go back and watch the um, the highlights. Um, I do enjoy watching that too. The highlights, especially on a game that I was watching, then fell asleep, and I really like to keep um, a nice little surprise right there at the end. So we segued right from um, Cowboys, Jags to Titans, Chargers. We missed the Broncos, Cardinals. Um, these two teams are eliminated from the playoffs. Glad the Broncos were able to get a win as a Bronco fan. A lot of um, my starters were out. 
just good good to see them get a win finally um pats raiders man this was another one that was just some craziness right here at the end it was a tie score no time on the clock and the patch just do some unpack kind of thing bill is good i'm pretty sure bill just went off on his players after this they i'm trying to do the little um i forgot what it's called man whatever they're just praying throwing the ball back and then just gave it to the Raiders, where the Raiders were able to walk off and get the win. Uh, Raiders are still in the hunt, still in the hunt on the bubble for this um, this wild card, man. In the beginning of the season, Raiders were really um, they were melting down. Um, it's good to see a team kind of bounce back from something like that. They were really struggling in the beginning of the season, and... Um, Man, Carr, Derek Carr, real emotional at one point. Good to see them get back, um, you know, back in the winning ways. Even though it is a divisional foe, um, when you when you show these kind of emotions, you're a grown man, and uh, in the NFL, um, you know, it's good. It's just good to get get back in the winning ways. Um, Raiders still in the hunt. Man, another another close game yesterday, man. A close game right down to the to the end. And <laughs> Raiders just found a way to win. Pats found a way to lose. Um uh, man. This game, this um the Bagels and Tampa. Um in my quick picks, I said uh, I thought the Bagels would win. I thought Tampa was going to struggle. And that first half, I <laughs> it was kind of like my, my Vikings pick on the first half. I was just like, what in the world is going on? Um, I was questioning reality. And then um, my wife's a Bengal fan. And uh, she was asking me what did I think was going to happen in the second half. And I was like, the Bagels are going to score 30 points in a row unanswered and get a win. And they scored 31 in a row unanswered and got the win. And um, and Tampa came back right there and got uh, a touchdown in garbage time. Joe Burrow, four touchdowns, one interception. And, man, just another crazy game. And uh, what else we have? The Sunday night game, Giants in Washington versus the Commanders. Both these teams, are they play tough uh, in the NFC Beast. Kind of um, rough game for the Commanders. Daniel Jones, no touchdowns. 21 of 32, 160. Quarterback for the Giants. The Giants really like to uh, play smash mouth football. And really just uh, push the other team around. Washington really likes to do the same thing. But the Giants were able to edge it out right there. Uh, in the At the end, it looks like the commanders were trying to come back. But uh, they were not able to. <sighs> NFC Beasts. This is um, another one uh, right here. It's going to have some playoff implication in the NFC. We'll see uh, tomorrow after the dust settles how everything's looking. But it looks like Washington is still in the number seven seed in the hunt. But in the playoffs, if the playoffs would end today. So, um, good win for the Giants, I kind of wanted to see a tie. I thought Washington was going to win at home. But, man, the Giants really able to take it to them. Um, I did a quick pick for the Monday night game. And what else do we have? Man, just another crazy week in the NFL. It was like a playoff week, a lot of crazy games. 
a lot of uh, second half flips. And man, what else is next week going to bring me? Like, subscribe, comment what you think about this week. Uh, look at this NBA, NBA. I got the NBA schedule up for today. Any good games? This Warriors 76er game should be interesting at 7:30. Uh, Magic Celtic, another 7:30 game. Can uh, Celtics get it together? They're kind of slipping right here. Um, Nets Raptors, another 7:30 game should be interesting. Eight o'clock, Nick Bulls. Ooh, right here, 10. The Nugs, Lakers, and 8:30, Trailblazers, Mavs. Um, who I think is going to win? Starting off, Atlanta versus the Hornets. I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Atlanta on the road. Kings Pistons. I'm going to go with the Kings at home. Nets versus the Raptors. I'm going to go with the Nets on the road right here. Warriors versus 76ers. Hmm. If Embiid can really play big, uh, Warriors Warriors play pretty. They got some some bigs too. This is, this is an interesting game. Hmm, I'm going to go with the Warriors. I'm going to go with the Warriors on the road. I don't want to watch that game. I think it will be on NBA TV. Uh, Pacers, Cavs. Cavs have been playing really good. I'm going to go with the Cavs. Celtics versus Magic. I think uh, Celtics get it together at home versus the Magic. Timberwolves, Thunder. Ooh, I think the Timberwolves will be able to win on the road versus Thunder. Knicks, Bulls. I'm going to go with the Bulls at home. Uh, Mavs, Trailblazers. If Luka's playing, I'm going to go with the Mavs. If Luka is not playing, Mavs going to get destroyed. Nuggets versus the Lakers. Hmm. I'm going to go with the Nugs on the road right there. A little quick pick. Um, freebie right here in the Monday Mix to, to end it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh... That was for the December 17, 16. <laughs> Those games already played. Oh, well. That was a quick pick for games that already played. Let me see who won those games. <laughs> that was funny. Lakers won. Mavs won. 130 to 110, Knicks won, uh, Timberwolves won, the Cavs won, Magic won. <laughs> I've been watching so much football, I miss that. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Jazz, Cavs, ooh, I'm going to go with Cavaliers. These games are actually playing today. I had to refresh the screen. So, uh, if, uh, that was messed up on my part for sure. So, uh, I'm not editing that out. So, if you made it all the way this far, uh, you saw me really mess that up. So, that's hilarious. Um, Jazz Cavs going with the Cavs at 7 o'clock. 76ers Raptors going with the 76ers. Hawks hosting that magic. I'm going to go with the Hawks. Ooh, Bucks and the Pelicans. Man, Giannis is going to get dunked on. Trailblazers. I'm, I'm going Pelicans at home. Uh, Trailblazers versus the Thunder. Um, hmm. I'm going to go Trailblazers on the road. Spurs versus Rockets. I'm going to go with the Spurs. Mavs, Timberwolves going with the Mavs. If Luka's playing. Lakers versus Suns. Going to go with the Suns. And this Hornet Kings game. Who's going to watch that? Hornet's going to win on the road. All right. Big HD, ENT. Like, subscribe, comment. I had a little blooper right there. Picking NBA games from like a Friday night or something like that. Man, I've just been watching so much NFL. I don't even know where I'm at. But it's Monday. Monday mix. Monday night football tonight. I'm about 25 minutes in. If you made it, thank you for watching all this HD E and T. And I'll be back tomorrow for Taco Too Much Tuesday, the playoff picture. After the dust settles, man, we're going to see who clinched, who's on the bubble, who do I think is going to win, and who is going these matchups. I'm going to do like a little matchup and, and uh, who's going to win these matchups. 
right there, 25 minutes, Big H-D-E-N-T. Like, comment, subscribe.